everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have the new Death Types mod, I believe there's nine of them. So what it has is die from food poisoning, die from embarrassment, fatigue, fight, load and bite steam, anger, spell casting, overload, and flies. So it has like the different ghosts and everything as well. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to jump into game. Um, it says that Elder Sims will get the fatigue mood after woohoo. Flirty Sims will get the loins burning if they woohoo with an irresistible sim. All Sims get terrified mood of the lid if they see a ghost. They get abducted by aliens except believe occults and supernatural fans. Uh, change the way spell casting happened. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop into downloads. We need late night pets, showtime, supernatural seasons, university life, and into the future. All right, so we are in the game with the Clavel family. Because I figured, you know what, there's two Elders here already. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let them go ahead and woohoo, see how this goes. Now, I don't expect that I'm going to be able to show all nine death types, um, because I feel like if I kind of try for that, it may be a very long video, and I don't know exactly what is going to be required. So I'm going to let Xander come over here and make some food, see if maybe we can somehow get some food poisoning from that. So I can at least have two different deaths, but I guess we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, I just, I don't know, I feel like we're gonna try and see what we can kind of get out of this. So I guess we'll see how this goes, but I hope that you're all having a good day, happy Monday. Um, I put this video off till last, be, like of the three model reviews that I asked you which ones you would like to see because I didn't know how it would go with filming it. And I still don't know, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and see. Um, but I'm kind of nervous that I'm not going to be able to make it work and that this video is going to be a bit of a flop. I'm hoping that's not the case, but if it is, it is, I don't know. But okay, so they're gonna head upstairs to Woohoo. But it's always nice to kind of have some new additions to the game and seeing how they kind of impact. And it's kind of nice because some of it's very similar to kind of like Sims 4 vibes. But if you don't play Sims 4 all too often, then you can at least have some new stuff in Sims 3. So these two are going to go ahead and woohoo. Xander, I don't know how what he's doing, but I want to go ahead and hang out up here with these two. But we're going to go ahead and let these two woohoo kind of see what happens. I don't expect anybody to die after the first round, but I guess it's possible because I really, I don't know. This is my first time playing around with it and seeing kind of what happens. But okay, so they look like they're, oh, never mind. I was going to say they look like they're frozen. It does not appear to be. So are we good? I don't know. Okay, so you can see they automatically got the fatigued mood right here. So there's that and... He's getting up for some reason. I would like for you to go ahead and woohoo again, but they both do have the fatigued mood light. Which, to be fair, I feel like that kind of makes sense. Um, so I'm going to let them woohoo again. And how are you doing down here? You made some normal quality mac and cheese. What? Okay. So something's happening here to Buster. I don't know what. Um, okay. He's checking his pulse and fainted through the wall. Is he dead? I'm guessing not because I can still click on him. What is happening? Is he dead? Is he not dead? You can kind of see he's literally through the wall. Um, okay, so he's like back up again. So I guess he's not dead. I don't know. I Really, I don't. Um, what's up? What was that? Tell me something. Okay. Uh, Near-death experience. Well, your sim was on two while he went towards the light. Unfortunately, it wasn't the spotlight. Okay. So, you can have near-death experiences with this mod by the looks of it, which is actually kind of cool. But, again, I'm going to let them go ahead and woohoo. Uh, we're going to see kind of what happens and comes out of this. But I'm going to go ahead and skip until there's something, and we will be right back. Okay, so we are over here at the cemetery. And he is fainting from being scared of ghosts because he doesn't have, like, the brave thing or anything. I'm going to let him explore the catacombs because I know that that is typically a way that your sims can get scared. And I'm trying to see how easy it is to trigger a 
death by flight. Now, Buster and Bessie are at home asleep. Um, nothing came out of any of the woohoo sessions other than Buster's near-death experience. Uh, I don't really care, go whatever direction you feel, but yeah, I went ahead and spawned some different ghosts, hoping that maybe if there's more ghosts, maybe we'll have a higher chance of it. Um, some of the things like the rodent bite, I'm assuming you have to maybe have a small pet for, but again, I don't know for sure, because it wasn't given, like, any sort of spoilers or anything of how some of the deaths are triggered. Um, obviously the fatigue one's easy to figure out, same with the food poisoning, but I don't know the percentages of everything, so you're gonna see, I'm just gonna keep kind of clicking here and spawning some ghosts, just because I feel like the more ghosts we have, maybe the more scared Xander will be, and we can kind of, you know, figure this out. I apologize for the loud vehicle, you know, it's not one of my videos lately without there being a abnormally loud vehicle. But yeah, if I keep spawning some ghosts, I'm kind of hoping that it's going to help with the chance of him getting scared and dying. Um, it doesn't seem like the catacombs had did anything to him in the slightest. He didn't seem too scared of that. So I don't know if that maybe doesn't count and it literally just has to be a ghost. If that's the case, you can come over here and go and see this ghost, which might be Kermit. I don't know. But okay, so you can see already he has the terrified mood light that lasts an hour. And that was just from him walking over there and seeing the ghost. And then I believe he's also hot-headed, so I don't think a death by anger would help with him. But I may try and trigger that with a ghost at some point as well. It looks like this ghost is coming over here. So maybe that'll be enough to kind of scare him again. Um, Marty and Justine just had a kid, so it shows you how long I've been filming for, but, yeah, I don't know. You can see, like, she, oh, she had a near-death experience as well, I didn't mention that. But yeah, she had a near-death experience, but, like, they never actually died or anything, which is why I didn't show any of that on camera. But he's going to go ahead and yell at this ghost, so maybe he's going to try and see how the anger thing goes, um, Kermit... I don't know what to tell you, dude. You just apparently happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... Why can I not use my socialize mod? Can you not use the socialize mod on a ghost? Or is it because he's in a bad mood? Um, I guess we'll go ahead and argue. I'm just going to try and do a bunch of mean interactions. Just to see if he can die from anger. Now, again, I wish I knew what the dice roll was. You can tune it. Uh, that is something I don't believe I mentioned at the beginning. You can go ahead and tune the mod to have like a higher or lower death percentage uh, with these new deaths. I didn't do that. This is just based on the initial tuning of how the mod was made. Um, I don't know who this is because we were literally talking to Kermit. So I don't know how you can make fun of some other people, but apparently that's a thing. But yeah, so you can go ahead and tune it, which I feel maybe for the sake of the video to show off the deaths, I probably should have done that. Um, that's kind of a hindsight thing, but at the same time, I'm showing you how easy it is to die or not die based on some of these random deaths. So I guess it kind of still has a little bit of an advantage to it, but I guess we'll, you know, just kind of see. So, we're going to go ahead and just keep doing a bunch of, like, mean interactions. I'm hoping Xander kind of gets, like, an angry moodlet of some sort. Uh, he's deciding that he wants to go ahead and faint again. So, he has fainted. That was a very quick one. But he has fainted probably six times, and it hasn't done anything. So, I don't know if that, if him fainting means, like, he's getting close to it. I don't know, because as I said... He's fainted probably six times and has not died from being scared. So I genuinely do not know how long it takes for the flight to kind of kick in. But I'm going to see if I can maybe add some moodlets to him. See if that might help the percentage any. Because I don't know what else to kind of do at this point. Alright, so I went ahead and added some. So we have the upset and we have offended. We've got a few just like bad ones. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe these help. Um, he is clearly in a very bad mood right now. And I was trying to hope that the moodlets may 
affect that because he is furious right now. So that is a form of anger. So I guess it's possible that we could end up getting there. Uh, I won't be surprised if he tries to go home at this point because he is getting very tired. He's going to go ahead and faint again. But like nothing comes out of him fainting. So I genuinely don't know what it takes. Uh, you're almost over your near-death experience. I was kind of waiting to see if you have to let the near-death experience kind of like come off or not. Um, embarrassment is another form of death now as well, which I've seen that happen in Sims 4. Um, Buster is now awake, so there's that. But I may try and do some embarrassment stuff as well. I'm going to go ahead and wake up Bessie. And we're going to go ahead and try this again. See if we can get them to woohoo. Uh, Xander's home. He's going to go for a shower, which is, or not, he just decided he was going back downstairs. But we're just going to try. I just, I don't know. I want to have at least one. Like, the near death is cool. Oh, because he was going to faint. I see. But, yeah, like, I want to have at least one to be like, hey, this is proof that this mod does work. And that it's not just adding a near-death experience. Although, the near-death experience is kind of really cool as well. So, these two are just going to go ahead and woohoo. Um, I guess we'll kind of, you know, see how that goes. Oh. Okay. I don't know if she's dying. Or if... This is another near-death experience for her. Oh, she's actually dead. Uh, sure. But okay, so... Bessie just died from fatigue. So, there was your after death. He wants to resurrect her. But here is proof that the mod actually does work. This is probably the easiest one to trigger. Because, I mean, why wouldn't it be? Woohoo's pretty easy. And then you get the fatigue, like, right away. So... I feel like this may be the easiest one, but at the same time, it's at least proof that the mod is working and well. Because the other ones, I don't know how to trigger them. So I definitely feel like I should have probably did a little bit more research on the mod. Um, maybe tuned it a little bit, but I don't really know how to do all of that. But okay, so I'm going to take some pictures just because, you know, I would like to have a ghost kind of photo here. But, hello, very loud vehicle. Once again, I'm so sorry. But, um, okay, so it seems like he is terrified and about to pass out. So, I guess... What is he doing? Is he pleading or is he dying? What just happened? I'm wondering, actually. Can you have, like, a domino effect of Sims passing away? From seeing the ghost of another? Okay. Did you just have like another near-death experience? Is that what that was? What was that? Okay, so he just had another near-death experience. Which I'm assuming was based off of the ghost. So if he was to see maybe another ghost, maybe he would die as well? Because it couldn't be the fatigue, because it didn't hit right after. It hit after Bessie passed. Okay. So maybe you can have like a domino effect of Sims dying if another Sim dies. Huh. Okay. That's actually kind of really intriguing. But I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I've been filming this for really long. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. Why is he smiling? Um, if you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, you can go ahead and hit the bell down below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that button down below as well. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on if you turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, lovelies.